All right, guys, we are here for another one of these uh, category tier lists. Uh, thanks to the homeboy Roller ZZ over on the Dokkan subreddit. Big shout outs to him. Uh, and of course, let's hop in. Now, we're going to look at the Majin Buu saga today. Now, the Buu saga, I just got done talking about the Hyrule Saiyan team. And the Buu Saga team is in the exact same place, uh, for a little bit of a different reason. The Hybrid Saiyan team, like, I, I feel like if they just had a leader that was, like, prepare for battle instead, like, you're good. The Buu Saga, though, it's really all over the place. Like, way the fuck all over the place. So, I would think a leader like Turles, like, if they released, um, hmm, let's see, I don't know. Let's say they released a Buhan who was, like, a, a Turles-type unit, right? And he is another Majin Buu arc uh, category lead. Right now, it's Super Vegito. Uh, Super Vegito is HP and defense 170% and attack 130%. Let's say we get a Buhan. That's 150% across the board and 3 key for the Buu arc. And he gives 3 key to all allies. At that point, this team goes from a team no one wants to run to a team everyone is going to want to fucking run because those Buhans are going to be incredible giving three key to the whole team. Because the Boo arc, I believe the Boo arc is the second largest category in the game. I think number one is the pure Saiyan and number two is the Majin Boo arc, right? You have a lot, a lot of powerful characters in here that don't fucking mesh well at all with like anyone around them. So, if you had a leader like fucking Turles, this team would be so fun and so interesting to run. If you guys take a gander over here, Turles is actually right here on the category. Now, if we head over here... Oh, also, I do want to point out that uh, this great Saiyan man and also Mighty Mask... These two units uh, are just about to release on JP. I presume Mighty Mask will be on the tier list. I didn't look at it too in depth. He's nothing special, though. He's not really relevant for this category. This Grey Saiyan Man is very good, though. He will be very good for this category team. Uh, two key and 30% to attack and defense. So, he's pretty solid. He's just about to come out. Uh, all right. Now, Turles, right? Turles is actually on the optimal Majin Buu arc team. That's the reason he's sitting there in that S-plus tier. Now, he gives 3 key and 40% to all allies. Physical Super Vegito is a unit that doesn't link up well with the rest of the team, but in terms of outputting damage, he's one of the highest damage dealers in the game because counter units are like that. So, you have a unit like Physical Super Vegito who... Let's say he'll attack seven times in a turn. We'll say he super attacks, and then he's going to get hit six times. Something that, you know, very happens all the time. Then this fucker gives a 40, massive 40% attack buff to every single one of those attacks. And there you go. Like, this Vegito is just disgusting at that point. That's why a buhan like unit... That would be like this. Like, I just threw Buhan out there because everyone agrees we definitely need a new Buhan. Buhan, at this point, is very... Like, he has aged terribly uh, at this point. So, we definitely need a new Buhan. He would be perfect for a brand new Majin Buu arc category uh, leader. Especially because the two strongest characters uh, in the Buu saga are Super Vegito and Buhan. Uh, those are the two hardest, like, you know, toughest characters from that arc. So, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Another good thing, another positive thing with having another leader for this team, just like the Hybrid Saiyan team, is that it would allow you to use Super Vegito. Right now, you can't use AGL Super Vegito. And I, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, okay, we have this free-to-play uh, Vegito. But these are the only two leaders with the Boo Arc uh, category. This guy is just two key and HP and defense 30%. So, fodder level. Uh, Super Vegito, of course, is sitting there with the 170% and 130%. Uh, you, right now, you can't use AGL Super Vegito on the team because you have to use Physical Super Vegito to use the team, which kind of leads to problems, right? But if there was a different leader, you know, many people have AGL Super Vegito rainbowed because he's been on so many banners at this point. So, many people could make use of that. Uh, all right. So, again... This is the second largest category in the game. So I want to move very fast through these first couple tiers. Uh, AGL Kid Buu is bad. 
Physical Fat Boo is bad. Tech Majin Vegeta, bad. SCR Boo Tanks is bad. I mean, he can seal, uh, but that's about it. Uh, he does have over and a flash with some top tier units like Majin Vegeta and EGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks or Super Saiyan 3 uh, Angel Tech Goku. Actually, a Majin Buu art category leader who had over and a flash would be crazy for this team, by the way. Uh, so, I don't know. Maybe he could go up. Because he actually has some use, but he is only an SSR. Uh, then you have the AGL uh, Super Saiyan uh, Angel Vegeta. Uh, he's bad. Uh, the Both of the Gotenks, I, I just ha I went over this with the Hybrid Saiyan team. The Int Gotenks is fodder. He gives three key to Int and Tech types. But the Tech Gotenks is an Orb Changer. He could be useful. I would actually say he could go up to B as well. SCR Vegito. He, you know, he is actually not that bad of a unit. I remember him, he's in a... A support type unit. Yeah, 40% 40, 40 to attack and... De wait. Oh, okay. Wait, for a split second, I got confused. I was like, wh what? 40 per he gives 40%? There's no way. No, no, no. SCR Vegito, he gives 40% attack and defense to himself. And then he gives two key to all allies. Uh, the two key actually is pretty useful uh, on this Boo Saga team. So, uh, you know, a lot of these units don't link up the best. I feel as though you could maybe move him up to B... Uh, then Deborah is, of course, a support type unit for Int, so he's down here. Z Sword Gohan, bad. This is a support type unit for physical. Uh, the, you know, what what's the proper term for this guy? The Grand Supreme Kai? Is, wait, is that what his name is? Grand Supreme Kai in Dokkan? Uh, let's see. It is, yeah, Grand Supreme Kai. Uh, again, he he's just bad, so that's why he's down here. Uh, Boo Piccolo, bad. SCR Fat Boo. After he Dokkan Awakens, he might become a relevant unit, but he's he's pretty bad for now. Uh, great Saiyan Man 2, bad. Uh, Physical Super Saiyan 3 Goku, he's not bad. I, I believe I actually beat uh, Physical Super Battle Road for the first time using the Majin Buu art category and this Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, I believe, was on my team for stunning purposes. Uh, but he, for all intents and purposes, he's a, a, a kind of an irrelevant unit here. Uh, this Great Saiyan Man's pretty bad. This Tech Super Saiyan 2 Goku does have immense damage, but he's only a support type unit for, what, Tech and STR, so nothing too crazy here. And SCR, uh, this boo is bad. Another thing about this guy, I have said before that this unit is very, very good, and he is. But in order for this Super Saiyan 2 Goku to be very, very good, it has to be on a team with LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, because he's going to share 5 key with LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, <clears throat> excuse me, as well as uh, Super Saiyan and Kamehameha. So he, he's a pretty good uh, partner for LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, hardest hitter in the uh, game. But he this category doesn't have LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, so this guy's kind of relevated down to kind of fodder level. Uh, SCR Majin Vegeta is an okay unit, uh, nothing crazy. Again, when him and the Goku awaken, they'll be very, very interesting. Where is the Goku, by the way? The Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Oh, here he is over here. Yeah, they're they're fine in B. Uh, Tech Super Saiyan 2 Goku, nothing crazy there. This is the Tech Super Boo, nothing wild with him. Uh, this Int Go Goten, excuse me, and this Tech Trunks, they'll be interesting once they awaken, but they haven't yet. Uh, this is a World Tournament Fat Boo. Uh, judging by how these World Tournament Rebirths have been actually kind of good, like, World Tournament cards have been interesting lately. This Fat Boo could be good once he awakens, but right now he has not awoken. Uh, we have the AGL Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Uh, he is 3 key to all allies, but... I mean, that's pretty useful. Uh, he's fine here in B. This is the Physical World Tournament Super Boo. I actually don't know much about him, because I don't actually have this card. So, I was not able to awaken him from the last tournament. So, attack and defense 10%, and 5,000 HP per key sphere obtained. That's interesting. That's not too bad. Hmm. 5,000 is a lot. That's more than Buhan. Buhan gets what? 3,000 orb per orb? 3,000 HP per orb? So that's interesting. He's, he's you know, not the worst. Uh, you have the Tech Ultimate Gohan, who is okay. Uh, SCR Spirit Bomb Goku is pretty bad. Same with the Int Vegeta. Already talked about this Trunks. Uh, Buff Boo is bad. SCR 18 is okay, but she's only what? Shocking Speed? There's not a ton of Shocking Speed units here. Uh, her. LR Trunks and Goten, 
and the ultimate Goten, uh, ultimate uh, Gohan units. Uh, ultimate Goten, what the fuck? Am- <laughs> and the ultimate Gohan units. Those are pretty much the only shocking speed units here. So, it might give you some issues. She's not bad though. Uh, Goku, we talked about this kid Boo was very, very overrated for a long time because people kind of misunderstood the way his ability works. Uh, basically, what he means by disable his enemy's guard is he'll do normal damage to AGL units. That's it. Nothing crazy. Uh, we thought the disable's enemy guard was a different effect earlier on. Uh, but he's, he's not bad. Attack and defense, 70%, right? Like, there's definitely worse things you can have on a unit than that. Uh, Candy Vegito is actually really, really good for Super Battle Royale, Dokkan Battlefield, or Extreme Z-Awakening modes. Uh, so just on that alone... Uh, I, you could talk me into raising him up a tier. Uh, because the 50% chance to dodge is very good. Plus, he also does have shotgun speed over in a flash. And I thought he had fuse fighter. He doesn't have fuse fighter. Okay, I thought he did. But he does have shocking speed over in a flash, which help him link uh, pretty good. So, Candy Vegito's not too bad. Uh, and then the free-to-play Spirit Bomb Goku, he's, he's okay. For a free-to-play unit, he was solid. And then the AGL uh, Super Saiyan Gotenks is a nuker. Nothing of any, like, really high relevance. Uh, LR Mr. Satan. Now, he can get over a 1 million attack stat. Problem is his links. I do think A A tier is the place for him for sure. Uh, if you're a free-to-play unit, maybe you're trying to fill out the team. He's good here. Again, he will hit over a 1 million attack stat. But, like, if his passive does not go off, which has a 70% chance of going off, he's going to be really... He's going to look so, so bad. But when that passive does goes off, he, like, he'll pretty easily hit his 18 key super. Uh, he'll be able to tank well on Dokkan events. Super Battle Road, no fucking way. He gets... He, he gets obliterated in Super Battle Road. It, like, just LR stats alone are not enough. But for normal events... I would dare say this guy is underrated. He's not as bad as people say he is, right? He's way better than LR Piccolo, for example. Uh, SCR Gotenks is okay right there. Uh, we have uh, SCR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. He's a solid unit. Uh, you might be able to talk. I mean, hold on. Let me compare this. No, not not Tech Vegito. Uh, this Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And I want to see this Super Saiyan 3 Goku side by side. So this is the free-to-play Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Yeah, high chance of attack, 180%. That is pretty good. 50% chance. Kamehameha, over in a flash, fierce battle, blazing battle, and break form. Yeah, this guy's good. He, he, he's just good. Let me not... I'm not going to hate on this guy at all. That's that's solid. That's very solid. And then this guy is 80% when HP is 30% or abo- uh, above. So yeah, I actually would say the tech one is probably a little better. Uh, because the SCR one might be a little bit more consistent. But, you know, this guy does have fierce battle. Uh, that, that is a huge thing for him. Uh, so we have the SCR Gotenks. Again, only a shocking speed unit, though, which might hurt him on this team. The Kid Trunks and Goten are solid units. In Vegito is bad. I <laughs> you, could, you could tell me he's in B tier. I'm fine with that. Uh, Buhan. Again, Buhan is... I'm not going to say he's a bad unit, but he's just outdated. So... He gets 12% attack per key sphere obtained and 3,000 HP. If you've got him rainbowed, I'm sure there's teams you could really use him in, but there are better options for sure on this team. Uh, the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, uh, he's... I don't remember him being too useful. One of the rare cards I can't like mention that what they do right off the bat. Ooh, yeah, attack and defense 90% when HP's 80% or below. I do not like that at all. That's a that's a fodder level unit for me. Uh, so you could push him down, I think, to B, C, B tier. Uh, physical Ultimate Gohan is not bad. AGL Ultimate Gohan, not bad. The two uh, Battlefield Super Saiyan 2 Goku and Majin Vegeta cards, pretty solid. But in order for them to be really good, you do have to give them orbs and dupes from Battlefield, which are hard to obtain, and I'm sure not a lot of people are going to do. Uh, Int Super Saiyan Gohan, he's fine. Uh... Physical Kid Buu, it gives a 50% uh, attack buff when HP is 80% or above. So that's interesting, but not really a unit I don't think I'd use too often. Uh, and then we have AGL Super Vegito. Or, excuse me, not Super Vegito, but Base Form Vegito. He's interesting if you consider only part of his passive is going to work. He gets 100% defense as a first attacker in the turn. He It's a fundamentally broken ability, though, because... It doesn't activate until he attacks, 
But if he is attacked, before he attacks, he doesn't get that 100% defensive buff. So he, it's pointless. Like, that would work really well if it was 100% defense as the third attacker in a turn. That would be god level for a unit like this. Because he, you're, you're going to use a unit like this, uh, support type unit, as a floater anyway. And then if you give them a defensive buff like that so that they don't get absolutely killed as a floater, that's very helpful. But as the first attacker in a turn, not uh, <laughs> that's just not very helpful at all. Um, all right, so now we move on to S tier. We have the 1,000 Day Spirit Bomb LR Goku. Uh, he's not bad. He's definitely an S tier unit. Uh, same with the Super Saiyan Gotenks. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, again... I don't think he's going to be overflowing with key on this team. So because of that, I do think tech go tanks can really be used. If it's a team overflowing with key like the fusion team, uh, I don't, this go tanks is not very good because that, that extreme, he's not going to do a lot of damage, I don't think, what, with the 12 key super where he does extreme damage. But if you're able to get him a uh, 9 key super, a 10 key super, an 11 key super, I think uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks could be uh, a very useful unit because, you know, he's going to do immense uh, for 9, 10, or 11 key and then only extreme for 12 key. So you do want to avoid the extreme key as much as possible. Uh, Super Saiyan 2 Grey Saiyan, very good unit. Uh, prepare for battle and shocking speed. I guess one of the things that hurts this category is, like, so desperately, I feel like you want to go all over in a flash with this team, right? Just go Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Majin Vegeta, Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, and then Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Like, that would be a very good look for this team. And then maybe some support type units. But that's where the problem with physical uh, Super Vegito runs in. And that's why I think multiple leaders for these category teams could be very good because you can functionally run the team in different ways based upon which leader you decide to run. So I think eventually some of these categories are going to be a lot better once you can run leaders that can better sync up with some of the units in here. Because Super Vegito, physical Super Vegito does not work well with like any other good fucking unit on this category outside of... Actually, LR Super Vegito, they work very well together. Uh, but that's, like, from these guys up here, like, that's it. The only unit, the only S-plus unit that this Super Vegito works incredibly well with, actually, in Ultimate Gohan, he does kind of, they have, they share a lot of attack links, and in Ultimate Gohan, he doesn't actually need a lot of key, like, he, he doesn't need any key to Super at all. So he does kind of work, and the LR Super Vegito works, but the rest of these fuckers don't really. That, that's what hurts his team so much. Uh, Boo Tanks, oh, it's actually another over in a flash unit. Uh, he's kind of weak, though. He's very weak unless you're going to activate all of those Majin links. Uh, I have him rainbowed, and it is a struggle to get him to a one, uh, 1 million attack stat. A fucking struggle. So this guy, he's, he's okay. And he can seal, which is useful, I guess. Uh, we have the, uh, EZA, uh, Goku right here. Uh, he's pretty good. Judging by the fact that he gives himself key, I would actually probably move him to the S plus tier. Uh, these family Kamehameha units are quite good. I think all three of them should be in the S plus tier. Uh, looking at it, only Gohan is up here, but I would put Goten and Goku also in the S plus tier. Uh, so Goku, the fact that he gives himself the three key helps him out a lot and does make him a relevant unit, especially on a team like this, where again, we're going to be struggling with key, right? Then we look at uh, Goten. Goten is going to make it easier for the other units to super attack, as well as have good attack and defense, so he's solid. And then this Gohan is just a very hard hitter, uh, especially Rainbowed with that attack 90% and performing a super attack. This Gohan is very good. So that covers them. Uh, you have Int Kid Buu. Now, Int Kid Buu doesn't work well on this team at all because like, he doesn't have key links, so you're going to need to have support units for him. And a lot of the support units you would run on this category are not all all allies. It's like super types. Like even like high school Gohan, right? He gives super type allies key. So it creates an issue where like Kid Buu is not going to be getting buffed from these fuckers. Yeah, super types. Even the new great Saiyan Man card that's about to come out. He's super types. So this is not the team to run Kid Buu. I very much would love to see like some sort of 
uh, form of Majin Buu, have a Majin Buu art category leader skill, so you could do, like, a full Buu team. That would be cool. Uh, especially if they're not going to give, like, just Majin Buu, like, his own category, like a Majin category. Uh, then they could make a leader, so you could do, like, a full Buu team. It would be very fun. Uh, this Goku we already looked at. We've talked about Super Vegito. Majin Vegeta is one of the hardest hitters in the game. I don't have to talk about him too much. Over in a flash, AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, he He's right up there in the running for best EZA. I think, like, uh, Tech Cell in Ultimate Gohan, Super Saiyan 3 Goku are all incredible units. One thing about Goku, though, is there is a definitive better version of Super Saiyan 3 Goku than this AGL one. But, oh, I accidentally uh, got rid of the Buark. Uh, but here's the thing. LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku is not on this category. So uh, the AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku right here, he is the best Super Saiyan 3 Goku you could run uh, here on this team. So uh, he is able to hit very, very hard. He looks very good. Uh, an over and a flash variant of this team does work pretty well. Uh, in Ultimate Gohan, again, he doesn't need any key to super, which makes him very good. LR Chunks and Goten give themselves key, so it's easy for them to super. Uh, LR Super Vegito is, you know, what can I say? Best unit in the fucking game. So, he's fine. Uh, Angel Tech Goku, another over and a flash unit who hits very hard. Physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, uh, over and a flash unit who hits very hard. Uh, this Gohan gives 35% attack and defense. So, very good support unit. We went over that Gohan. Ultimate Gohan just is not a great fit here uh, with only the shocking speed. It's going to be impossible for him to super. Uh, this Gohan, again, doesn't need key because of his ability. But SCR Ultimate Gohan, like, you, you're just going to run into issues with him. It's very sad. I... <laughs> Ultimate Gohan cards are going to run into trouble unless they have an ability like this where they give themselves that key. At that point, they are good to go. Uh, so that Gohan's fine. Uh, all right, what else we got? Uh, we are over here. Tech Vegito, of course, base form is a very good support type unit. Uh, we've talked about High School Gohan. Uh, we talked about Turles. So the only unit left to talk about is this Super Saiyan 2 Goku, which actually is pretty good because he is one of these two key and 20% for all allies. So he could actually support, you know, Kibu, Buhan. He could hit Majin Vegeta, Tech Angel Goku, all units. So he's pretty good. It's surprising. You know, you wouldn't think that this physical Super Saiyan 2 Goku would be as good as he is, but all allies is a very powerful ability. So, there we go, guys. There is some Majin Buu art category. Again, like the hybrid Saiyan team, it's a team that has a lot of issues because the leader does not mesh well with many of the units in the category. Once that is amended, this team could be very, very fun. I really hope we get some sort of uh, different leader for the Buar category. Once it does, the options will open way up for this team, and it'll be pretty good. But right now, I would say this is like a dead team. No one runs this team because of how badly these units work well together. But that will be it for the video. Thanks, y'all, for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.